What's up everyone, this is Henry. Uh, today I'm going to be, well for Yu-Gi-Oh players and all that, like, even though I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh for a while, but I decided to, uh, just to buy a, you know, like a special thing. Uh, today I'm going to open the, one of the new Yu-Gi-Oh tins, which is, a uh, was it Dark Rebellion uh, XC Dragon? So that's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to try and open this and, you know, see what I get, because I've seen the ones from different videos that have really good set. Um, but I'm going to see what it looks like anyway, so let's get to it. So I just need to make an adjustment with this. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. As you can see, that's what it looks like here. So, just open it. I know I've played Yu-Gi-Oh for a while, but I went back to play Yu-Gi-Oh uh, a few weeks ago with one of my friends. And it felt, it felt weird coming back, coming back playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Still learning the same basics and all. So let's see. Oh, that's pretty bigger than I thought. Um, it's all been wrapped up like this, so I'll put this, I'll put this tin away. So as you can see, that's that Rebe uh, Rebellion XC Dragon. So that's what it looks like here. Let's see what we get. As you can see, for promos, we've got the Dark Rebellion XE Dragon. So that's what it looks like. It has a Platinum Rare, so that's... It's so weird, man, with the actual rarity of it. So like, so shiny and just hard to see. So that's what it looks like. I know they've got one in different rarities: common, ultra rare, ultimate rare, secret rare, and all that stuff. So, but this is the weird one. And then we've got other promos. We've got. Uh, I have no idea what this one is. This is all new. This is a new one. Um, this that came out like, bef uh, I think it was in promo. Oh uh, well, the Shonen Jump. I'm not sure. But that came out anyway, so that's reprinted uh, with that Castell as well, so that's came out. So that's new, so these, uh, well that one's reprinted, this one's new, so that's interesting, so I've not seen this one before. But I'll have a wee look anyway, I'll probably not trade it, but I'm going to have a look anyway. Uh, three packs, I get told there's all guaranteed different rarities, so I don't know what stuff I'll be getting. So we'll just see hope for the best. <clears throat> Okay, we've got a uh, fluffle as well. Let's see, a uh, fluffle dog. That's what it looks like. Uh, the wild monster appears. So that's really good. That's in secret rare. Uh, Caius the mega monarch, the ultra rare, which I'm keeping, and then artifacts as well. So I'm keeping all those uh, rarities. For commons, we got that, 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 this one, that one. Some good ones I can get now I can use, even though they're some ones hard to get nowadays. So that's what it looks like for the commons, so that's not too bad. Uh, round two, see what we get. Round two pack. Okay, we got the Satellanite, that's, that's alright, that one. And then we got Pot of uh, Riches, yeah, Pot of Riches now, so that's Secret Rare, so I'm going to keep that one because I'm collecting Secret Rares. Uh, we've got Yang Zing, which I'm keeping because um, because I'm trying to collect ultra rares as well. So, and uh, we've got one of the pendulum um, super rare cards. So I'll probably trade that away. Probably, it depends. I don't know yet. Um, so that's what it looks like. The rarities for commons, you got that, you got that. Nah, it's it's just you will see. You know the few of them anyway. Um, I don't even know most of the cards, man. I've not been playing for a while. Some of them were just a bit weird, the names. So that's what it looks like with the comments. Uh, one more pack, because I don't know what we'll get in this set. Let's see. Okay, we've got a par... par uh, what is it? Parafomo... Uh, <laughs> I can't pronounce it, man. It's just... Yeah, I've not watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc, uh, Arc 5 for a while, so... Uh, Wipe Snake, so you know that is. Uh, Rank Up Magic, the seventh one, which I really need, so I'm keeping that one. Uh, Eye of the Void, so I'm keeping this one because obviously I get told the uh, Inferno Roids uh, are real. Uh, Inferno Roids are really good, I get told, so I'm going to try that. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai, Super Rare, I think Super Heavy Samurai uh, Trumpeter, I think that's called, I can't pronounce it. So that's what it looks like in Super Rare, so I'm going to keep that. So that's all the rarities for this one, common wise. It's all basic and simple pretty much. I know some of the cards will. 
I recognise some of the cards anyway, but just but I can't remember when the names. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so that's the commons all here. But I'll show you all the, the shinies from the, the packs anyway, so the most of them I'll probably end up keeping, and then I don't know if I'm going to trade out or se like sell it, because I'm mostly selling, but I don't know. Some of them will, will be in the, you know, the collection, so that's what it looks like. So it's not too bad, and then for promos you get pretty much them, and even the, the promo of that, the Dark Rebellion XC Dragon. Okay, so yeah guys, thanks for like watching this video, even though like I've not played Yu-Gi-Oh for a while, um, but the tins are like, available now on the shops or even online as well, so you can get that. I think this one's more popular than the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. So, but I'm quite happy with what I've got, I think. So, but I wish I pulled something a little bit decent. But I got like a few, which is not too bad. But, but yeah, guys, um, it's available now on online, or you can just buy it from the shops if you're lucky. And um, they have like another tin as well. So, so please subscribe, like, and comment. See what you guys think about this tin. You know, um, see what your thoughts on it, and see what you think about the packs I just pulled as well. So. Um, so yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll probably see you guys soon.